Hey guys, so welcome to part two of my Columbia surgery vlog. I came out here for chin lipo and jawline contouring. And I'm basically just going to explain everything all over again. Because usually when I post vlogs, some people don't watch the first vlog. They just head right into the second vlog. So um, I gained over 15 pounds a year ago to have my BBL. Me doing this, um, I got, my face got fat. Because when I gain weight, I gain weight all over. And I know I did not want to lose weight because if I started losing weight to get my face to slim down, I will also lose weight everywhere. And that's what I'm not trying to do. I do not want to lose weight all over. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me do the chin lipo, jawline contouring. And we're here. But we are waiting for the driver. As soon as he get here, then we will continue and start our day. So let's go. actually just took a shower and got dressed and I did do a massage this morning as you guys saw and she removed the stitches and the massage today was so much more painful just because she did have to drain a lot of fluid out um, like I keep saying this is just like if you get life on your stomach you're gonna be really swollen afterwards so I'm not gonna lie after she did my massage which I'm gonna have her Instagram right here she also does lymphatic massages if you get in a tummy tuck a BBL lipo 360 she's in Colombia and she's amazing super nice super sweet so you guys can follow her but um after she finished doing my chin lipo lymphatic massage I did see a difference so even though it does take some weeks before you can see the full result when you are doing the proper massages you can see results right away and one of the girls that went to my doctor i've been in communication with her through instagram dm and she also recommended that i do some self massages when i'm in the shower even though it's going to be painful i will do that and she also um I like this handheld device to you know do my own massages so once I get home I am going to check Amazon to get that device so removing my stitches was not painful at all I thought it was gonna be painful but it wasn't she just used some tweezers and pulled it out so right now my stuff is packed and ready to go but before we head to the airport I am going to stop by Dr. Christian Lopez office and he is going to take a look at this and one more thing that I do have have to say is i cannot which i already mentioned it earlier i think i mentioned it in the first vlog but i'm not allowed to travel home with this on my face just because they told me that they would not allow me to leave the country if i say that i just had surgery and so i'm gonna have to remove this before i go to the airport and travel without this on my face but as soon as my flight land i will be putting back on my faha because you guys already know um, the face needs to be snatched. I also asked the nurse how many massages would she recommend and she said a minimum 10. So once I get home, I do have to find somebody to do my massages. I really want to be consistent because um, the more massages you get, the better. So I feel like I, well, I literally just got lipo up my face but it's the same process, same process. So that's just about it so i'm gonna make sure that i take this off and i'm excited to see my results the few weeks coming up and this how it's just going to all come together and look snatch and i've been having some girls reach out to me on instagram as well because my doctor did post like a video clip of me and he tagged me so i've been having some girls that's 
planning on flying out here to do the chin lipo as well dm me so i'm actually going to respond to you guys dms and give you guys my entire experience from start to finish but um that's about it um like i said doing this procedure was not painful at all the only painful part is the massages the massages hurt it like crazy today like that's literally the most painful part but it's coming along so i will see you guys once i reach the doctor's office and then we're off to the airport i'm really going to miss columbia the food is so delicious here like it was just a smooth trip my driver, Alex, he's amazing. I'm also going to have his Instagram and information down below. If you guys are coming to Columbia, you have to make sure that you hire him. He is very, very, very fluent in English. He knows Cali area pretty well. He's very timely when he comes pick you up. He's just amazing. And if he was not here on this trip, I don't know how I would be able to communicate. Um, They do have this app called Translate on the app store that is very useful i kind of just well my nurse that did my, my massage she started using it and i'm like oh my gosh i need to download this app because i do want to communicate with the doctor once i go to the office today instead of having someone translate so i will do that but that's really just about it that i have to say um i'm wearing this to the airport as you guys can see this is about some leggings and a black tank top so I know some people on Instagram think that I came out here to do another BBL, but that is not true. Everybody was like trying to guess. If you follow me on Instagram, then um, I did have this option. Just because one thing about me, I just realized I'm not really into posting everything on Instagram.